Hey guys, what is up? Venomir here today. I've got a little video for you today. I'll be showing you how you can make the volcanic orange paint job for your castle GTA 5 online. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest and greatest GTA 5 content. Also, if you like this color, make sure you do hit that like button, it helps me out a lot and it does show me that you guys want more content. So, without further ado, let's get down to business. Okay, first of all, about this color, it is really tricky to get it right, it's really patchy. Cars like the Zentorino, where the secondary color is over just little patches of the car. These cars are ideal for this paint job, but cars like the Corquette or Bugatti, where the secondary colors are a little all over, you're not going to be able to get this color to its peak performance. So just have a little look around with your cars and decide which car you would like to do this with. Then once you've decided, drive to any paint spray and you want to go down to the respray option. When you're on here, you want to go down to primary, matte, and you're going to want to put on matte black. And from here, you are going to want to do the pearlescent on matte glitch. Just select matte black, then hover over any colour on the metallic, change anything on your car, it can be your headlights, anything, then go back onto the respray option and click on pearlescent and that's the glitch done. Once you've done the pearlescent or matte glitch, you want to go down and find orange. You can either put on sunrise orange, sunrise orange is a little lighter shade, or you can just put on plain orange, I just put on plain orange as it does look a little bit nicer. Now once you've selected which orange you would like to use, then you want to go down to the secondary metallic, and you're going to want to decide either with the same, it's completely the same, you're either going to want to put an orange or sunrise orange. Remember, sunrise orange is a little bit of a lighter shade, it's like just like the fire opal paint job. Uh, but I go with normal orange as it does look a little bit nicer. And remember to, if you're doing this on the Zentorino or cars where if the side skirts and spoiler can have the secondary colour, make sure you change them around a little bit, change your tyre smoke, your rim colour as well. Just to make it, you're going to need as much, for this paint job, this particular paint job, you are going to need as much secondary colour on it as possible. Now once you've just decided, made it look as good as you want, remember you can add your personal touches in that. Once you've done, just drive out, tease your friends with this new colour. Fair warning though, once you have this colour on your car, as usual you are going to have those little squeakers that do get really jelly over your cars. They're going to want to blow you up, or maybe even, they may not even blow you up, they may just message you saying nice car. But anyway, this has been your boy Venomy here. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay up to date with the latest and greatest GTA 5 content. Remember, if you have an epic colour, leave it down in the comment section, and I might make a video on it if it looks good enough. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitter, because I do want to stay socially active with all of you, because you guys have been going mad on the tweets and mad on the follows. See you guys later.